Hi, Noah. Dr. Johnny, good morning. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. And by the way, I love your accent. I must just say. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Yes. When I thought about the BBC, I was like, oh, I love BBC and BBC America. That's right, Dr. Johnny. Well, let's go ahead and get started. So first off, I want to send my thoughts and my prayers to everyone in Australia this morning as we get ready to talk about a series that includes and highlights Australia. So seven unique stories, one landmark event, seven worlds, one planet. It reveals how each distinct continent has shaped the unique animal life found there. So how did this idea start for a special series like this to come to our TV screens? Because I think it's a great idea, Dr. Johnny. Well, I would worked on Planet Earth 1 and Planet Earth 2, and we were uh -huh. thinking about kind of new series and thought we'd never actually broken down the, the world by continents. And actually, when you have a, a continent, you get a lot more variety than in the previous Planet Earth series. You know, those mm -hmm. were on, you might have a whole episode on jungles or a whole episode on deserts. And actually, they yeah. become quite similar in terms of the color. But actually, when you've got an episode on North America and you can go anywhere in North America, it's really exciting. So there's amazing variety in each episode. Absolutely. And I, you know, I think viewers will learn so much about the nature in our world. And I think, you know, this show really captures right in the center of how beautiful our planet really is. So what truly was one of your favorite episodes out of the series that you're excited for the audience to watch? Uh, oh, there, it's difficult. It's like your children. You can't really have a favorite. Right. <laughs> but but I, I do. I love the Asia episode because it's full of the unexpected. I mean, we have a story mm -hmm. from Iran, which took years to film yeah. and is a uh, is a, an animal that's only just been discovered. And when people see it, they, they won't even believe that it exists. Um, we've got uh, a story from the mountains of China, which is the inspiration for the Yeti, you know, this animal, mm -hmm. which, uh, which again, people won't believe that this animal exists. So there's lots of brilliant new stories in Asia. And I really love that episode. Now, I want to read some very uh, fun, fast facts of how Seven Worlds, One Planet actually uh, came together. It's pretty incredible when you actually hear these facts, everyone that's watching this morning. So 41 countries were visited, you know, that we'll see play out in the series. 92 shoots, 1,794 filming days. What? Oh, my God. 1,794. That's more than a year. Oh, my goodness. So 499 days spent traveling by crew. 2,260.5 uh, hours of footage was shot and more than 1,500 people worked on the project worldwide. I mean, so... Were there any challenges when bringing the series together? Because, I mean, you know, the filming, like I was saying, is spot on with all these gorgeous pieces of nature that we see on screen. And just, you know, from reading that, you know, fact sheet there, it's like mind-blowing. <laughs> there were no challenges. It was easy. No, it was... Uh... <laughs> It was, it was really, it's really challenging. I mean, you have, uh, right. you know, sometimes when, in Antarctica, it might take you, you know, a week or two weeks to get to the location in the first place. So, wow. yeah. and you may have to sail across the, you know, the roughest uh, ocean on earth. So we, we had, you know, even just getting to location is really difficult. And then when you're there, you know, cameras may break or, you know, people may get sick. We had, we crashed drones, we crashed cars. And not that we were irresponsible, but, you know, you're just trying to get this amazing behavior. And um, right. the, the team really, really pulled out all the stops. Incredible. I, I, I just keep saying the, the word incredible. <laughs> Don't you think it is? I mean, yeah. it's, it's fascinating, really. You know, so Seven Worlds, One Planet. Everyone can tune in Saturday, January the 18th at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's the season premiere of this show on the BBC America. Dr. Johnny, thank you so much thank for joining us. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure to speak with you. And you take care and have a good rest of your week. Thank you. Thanks a lot. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.